And so in this episode, in season two, we thought, oh, wouldn't it be amazing to do an actual like bank heist? Like where we go into a place and actually steal something incredibly valuable and then run away with it. Um, and so we thought, oh, we'll just go and make it seem like we're robbing the, like the biggest museum in Canada, which is a place called the ROM. And so, and we don't ever want to actually like, you know, do anything really, really bad and like, and make the public upset. Like that's not really our intention. We just want to make it seem as though we did kind of like a magic trick. And so what we did was we came up with this plot where Matt and Jay needed a map from inside this museum. And so we had, I won't, I guess I don't want to incriminate anybody, but we had somebody go in and build piece by piece an exhibit inside this museum without the museum knowing we were doing it. So and it was happening piece by piece using pieces that our art director uh, was making to fit in with all the other pieces. But we couldn't yeah, just go so in past in. security with a bunch of pieces for this. So we had a team of people just sort of sneak in different pieces or panes of wood or one pane of breakaway, breakaway glass, glass and a plaque yeah, and that looks built- like the other plaques with the explanation of uh, the old map of Toronto. And so over the course of like a, like a period of time, this team secretly built an entire exhibit within this museum. With an old and looking huge. fake, but very real looking old map under glass, under lights with a plaque in a How, how long did that take? A day. Uh, it, it took them yeah. a day, but... But Jay and I were in the museum waiting for them to give us the call to say, okay, it's ready. Because we figured this thing is going to get caught immediately and we're going to have to, like, we're going to have to do this instantly. So they gave us the signal that it was built. And what's crazy is that we didn't get to have any kind of meeting or anything. Jay and I just had to go and shoot this scene. So we walked down to that part of the, and we've never seen this before also. So we walk down to this part of the museum. We see it. We go up and do this scene. But what's crazy is that there's other people around us watching us talk about this map. And they get involved, specifically this old French guy who walks right up to us and they don't see the cameras. And he's like, what are you guys trying to do? What is this? And I was like, oh, I really need this map. I need, I need, I need to get this for our plan. And this guy says, well, why don't you just use your phone? And what he meant was, why don't you take a picture with your phone? But because Jay and I knew we were going to break this thing, I took his suggestion and was like, yeah, perfect. I'll use my phone. So then I take my phone out of my pocket and smash the glass with it as though that's what this old French man told me to do. And as soon as I do that, it's like chaos because Jay and I know, okay, we got to reach and grab the map and walk out. But this guy's right beside us being like, what are you so doing? We've caused, this uh, is crazy. We've caused a scene at this point. We caused a huge scene. And so we're thinking, okay, that's fine. I'll just grab the map. And then Jay and I start walking out of the museum. And do we think we that's think it? Any, we think any second can't. now we're going to cut the cameras and we'll have our scene. We'll go back and edit it. Like we think the scene's done at this point, but we're walking out but, just so we have it all But what you don't realize is that this French guy is probably tell other people, telling other people, telling security. Well, everyone's looking well, around. It, it, but very it's quickly, way worse than very that. quickly, there's this, this huge guy th- starts walking towards us and he grabs Matt by the neck and he goes, he, stop right there. No, he says, don't oh, move. Oh yeah, don't move. He says, don't move. And I'm looking at this guy and I'm like, because you got to understand in our show, sometimes people will set things up for Jay and I to experience that we aren't going to expect. And so like there's 5% of me that's thinking that the producers have put this here, have planted this guy to kind of scare us and make us run or something. But if, if that was true, this guy's the best actor in the world because he's huge. He's grabbed me and clearly he knows we've stolen this thing from the museum. And so, and you can, you can watch this if you watch the show, cause it's all one take. He says, don't move. And I turn to Jay and I say, run, because I know that if we stop the scene's dead and at least this is going to turn into something. So I spin out of this guy's grasp and Jay and I take off. We're running like hell out of the museum and as we do this guy takes off after us he's screaming this person is a is a is an uh, undercover police officer for those of you who are listening wondering like what's this guy Holy doing shit. he's like like an off and he's uh, screaming right. across the atrium of this place and you can hear it echoing he's saying stop, stop those guys, those guys. Stop and, those guys. And, and 
who's filming, Jared or Andrew? Jared is chasing us. There's uh, another camera in the museum. I think from Luca the top. is also filming. Yeah, yeah, and then there's a camera from the top, except I don't think we cut to that because we wanted to, this all to play in one right. take. And so then we run. We literally run past security who are all like, what the hell's going on? This and they're is crazy. filing into the shot from the sides as Jared's following like they're us. All trying to, they're all trying to catch us, and we run out of the museum, and they chase after us like crazy, and we're like, holy shit, this is... So, like- so there, what happens in the episode from there is that you guys run out of the museum, and security keeps running after you until you get into the train. Until we get to the right. subway, and then we escape on the but, subway. So where, so, so what's great about it, and what makes it perfect for editing, is that at first you have these real security guys chasing after you, and you blur out their faces. Exactly. At what point do you cut and then have lookalikes come in and chase you for the rest of the scene? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it... it- it played yeah, it out. Was months it later. played out very nicely because later. we we were watching it back and we're like, "This is great." But and we had the uh, Indiana Jones chase music because the whole right. parody of Indiana Jones was being at play too. And we watch it, but it happened so quickly, and you almost expect that the Indiana Jones parody should continue and do this kind of panning running shot just the way they do in the Last Crusade. Right. And so we had the idea to then go back later with fake security, dressed the same, and then get a, a shot from the street out of the side of a Jeep that panned along with us. We did this huge chase scene all the way into a so, uh, subway. where did the original scene end? The original scene it ended... ended you know, well, but that's, a, that's almost an absurd question, because there was... Think there was it, no scene, yeah. No, but I, I mean, no I mean when scene. did you guys... Like, I, I, what actually scene, happened? I mean, no, I meant, the original I meant way? when when did you guys turn around and go, hey, hey, stop, so stop, stop, stop. Down the street. We stopped. Jay, Jay, Jay threw <laughs> no, up. I did. Like you, we were running I've heard so you say that on uh, on a few interviews. You're like, Jay threw up everywhere. <laughs> and I, you threw I up, felt Jay. very sick. I never barfed, though. I don't know why. That's, you, that's not like a prideful thing, but... Uh, Hey, you know what? Sure. I threw honest. up everywhere. It makes the story better. I threw up everywhere and we had to but stop. But we stopped and, and, and the two guys, security guys, showed up and we were face to face with them on the street. And, and, they, and they were cool. Well, one of them was cool. One, like, so right away we're like, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. And one of the guys goes, show it to me. Give it here. And we're like, look, we're doing a show. <laughs> we're doing a show. And one of the guys goes, really? No way. He, oh, wait, Nirvana the band? Like, Maybe, was... yeah. And the other guy was like, wait, wait, don't give him any credit. Wait, wait a second. Stay here. So they were a little bit, <laughs> but then at they were, odds. then they were, then they were totally nice to yeah. us. And then it was the weekend, so like none of the actual museum staff was there. It was actually a completely good vibe. But what I wanted to say is that this is actually getting right into that thing that we were talking about before, where it's like we went out to shoot something thinking it was going to be this one thing, and then when it transformed into this whole other thing, it was actually Jay who was like, "We should just have this scene keep going." It's so good. Let's have this sequence continue and run on the subway and do all this crazy shit. And it was like, yeah, right. obviously, because we didn't think there'd be a chase scene. And now that there is, it's like 10 times better. And that's why it wound up being, I think, in many ways, like one of the best episodes we've ever made. Because you watch that not knowing how we did it. And you're like, this is fucking insane. I'm watching yeah. a crime. And the crime is turning into a story. And then when yeah. you guys, the rest of the episode takes place in... Uh, on the train tracks of the subway of Toronto, what do you, were you? It really looks like. Are you guys on abandoned? Tra- like, are you guys on abandoned subway tracks? No, we're in the we're in the real subway. We're 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 in the actual like Toronto. Right. Subway when you system. jump, but, when you jump onto the tracks, yeah, is that you jumping onto the tracks? Yes. Well, I mean, li- yeah, it's me jumping onto. Like, what do you mean? It can't be fake. I mean, but I'm like, saying, I'm saying, people are tracks. people. When you, if you were riding the subway. Or Jay, let's say you were riding the subway and you saw a guy jump onto the tracks. That's usually crazy. It's crazy, man. There's but a you trick. Know, we have a trick in there. There's, there's a, trick a trick in there. Okay. We have we have there's a magic trick that happens, which is that yes, I jump onto the subway, and yes, it's like at like a, a subway platform, but there's a, there's a hidden cut in between when I jump. Sorry, between when I'm about to jump and when I jump where we teleport into a different subway station. That has that no has train. Been, 
Okay. That, well, that has just been abandoned. It still does have trains, but there's no people there. Like they never. So we went. And we found uh, the first scene and the backdrop of the real subway track, and we put an actor there who looks like a stranger with a certain backpack. Swish away, and when we swish back, that same actor is there, and we have a very similar angle Looking, on the end yeah. of the train tracks so right. it looks the same but you can actually now that you know this you can look back and see completely all the different details that have changed right but you're really looking yeah. at yeah, it's, I mean it's pretty seamless it's very seamless 